this is just never sat right with me. So look, so we're going to say radius, we're going to take a circle, say radius 3959, okay, times 2, get the diameter, times 3.14159, okay, so that's 24,875.1, okay, so we're going to divide that by 36, okay, so that would be 36 10 degree 10 degree angles okay so 690.97 we're going to tuck that away and uh and remember that so so uh 36 sides of a circle or 36 pieces of a circle would uh, with a radius 3959 with their circumference we came up with would be 690 miles 690.97 miles okay now we're going to go to the triangle calculator okay so this is three sides okay so i put in 10 degrees you see angle angle c 10 degree in fact i could redo it there it is 10 degrees recalculate okay now we got 690.0997 so that's basically 690.1 basically just barely off point one so 36 sides and that, that's for side C, so that's a straight line. So if you had 36 straight lines, each one of them lines would only be 8 tenths of 1 mile shorter than 36 sides of a circle. I just, I'll never be able to accept that, man. I, I don't think I'll ever be able to accept that. So if we break that down, basically we say we're going to take a line 690 miles long. 690.1 miles long and then we're going to angle it down 10 degrees and then make another line 690.1 miles long okay to make that and we do that 34 more times to connect the, the end from the beginning okay so to make that into a circle each section the 36 sections of a circle are less than eight tenths or right around eight tenths of a mile longer that's it so so I've never really bought that. It just it's crazy to think that, but even if it is true, and how could they explain that as far as making maps and surveying? So you think you could tell the difference between less than eight tenths of a mile for every six hundred and ninety miles with all the ups and downs? Like so the state planar surveys or topographical elevation, they say that you know, we're getting a level reading down coastlines. We go a couple miles or even 10 miles that we don't know that we're shooting our way around a circle because of the angle changes. So it works out perfectly that we're on a flat plane with sea level remaining constant. But in reality, we're shooting around a circle and we would be able to distinguish the eight tenths of a mile for every 690 miles when we're making maps so that that should give you an idea uh, there's a problem one way or another if you ask me but um tell me what you think in comments